I've often wondered if the appearance of a piece of gold has anything to do with its purity. So I got a gold test kit and selected four pieces of gold. Two that are very pure yellow and shiny, one that's rather dull, and one that's even duller and has an almost reddish cast to it. The first thing to do is to rub each piece of gold to create a streak on the black stone. This is the surface that will be tested. Don't worry about uh, taking gold off of these. We're looking at much less than a thousandth of a gram for a test. Next, you put drops of the graduated acids uh, in order on each of the samples, and you see at wh which point it starts dissolving. For example, I've already done the 10 karat and the 14 karat lines, and none of the gold is dissolving, so we know that at least this is better than 14 karat. Let's take a look at what 18 karat does. Okay, you can see that the two that were bright yellow and shiny haven't had much of a reaction, but this dull one here has turned dark. That's a sign it's dissolving, so that this piece is less than 18 karat gold. This darker, uh, duller one here, which I thought would be the least pure though, is holding up to the 18 karat, so it's something higher than that. Let's go to the 22 and see what happens. And there's the 22. Again, not much is happening with these two. This has turned dark, and this one's holding up well too. So what that's telling me is that this, this, and this last one are all 22 karat or higher gold, and this one piece is uh, less than 18. And that's how you can test uh, gold for purity. These acid-based gold tests have one weakness, and that is that they're very time sensitive. For example, I've now waited another 10 minutes, and you can see that the weaker acids, this is for the 14 carat and the weakest for the 10 carat, have started to have a reaction here. The um, pure pieces of gold are holding up pretty well here, but they are now reacting to the 18 carat and the 22 carat solutions, where uh, for the first minute or so they didn't. So uh, if you're going to do one of these acid-based uh, gold purity tests, you want to be very consistent about how long you wait before you make your determination of how pure the gold is. Uh, for me, I like doing it within the first uh, 30 seconds or so of putting the solution on there. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful, and as always, thank you for watching.